Yo, how's it going guys? It's been a while since I've done intros, but I think I'm gonna bring it back for a bit, so welcome to episode 146 of the Iron Man series, and hope you guys enjoy the episode. Yo, this is crazy, bro. First, I got my first ever 3 superior at Aberrant Spectres. Right after that, I get f my fourth one. So this is number four, this task. Damn. Yo, man. So much thrill from seeing all of these, but no heart, boys. So if any of you guys are aware of the Master Clue outfit or the Crack the Clue, basically Crack the Clue is fully solved now and the solutions to finding the last item, the Helmet of Widewald, is pretty much common knowledge now. So as far as I know, you need to bring Nature Runes the leather boots and anti-poison one dose and you drop over to the monastery by Artie and yeah you come over to these iron ore rocks and you just dig there so it took the runescape community one plus year to solve the crack the clue that's crazy i wonder if jagus is gonna do another one of these something third kill oh <laughs> no oh my god that's that's such a terrible drop. Wow. That's terrible, dude. And this isn't the first time I've gotten this. Behold. This is my fourth time I've gotten a dragon hunt throwing axe. Oh, well, you know, at least uh, I'm getting a drop and I still got a few more races to do today. So perhaps the RNG is coming back, but I'm going to get some more drops. I feel it. All right. So I don't even know where this elite was from. I think it was Zora or something. Let's check it out. Oh. <gasps> Yo, yes, I got it. The master scroll book. Oh, from a master, dude. Hell yeah, I've been looking for this. Yo, dude, the amount of bank space that I'm about to uh, unlock is... That's going to be so nice, dude. Oh, baby. Jesus, that's so nice. Um, Yeah, that, that's so good. Okay. I guess I can put all of them in there. Damn, dude, I'm going to save myself 11 bank spaces. Yo... Dude, that's so good. Okay, let me uh, quickly do all this. Yo, that was a good song, by the way, man. Okay. Damn, I can bring this book everywhere with me because it has 11 teleports all in one. Oh, I can also set default as well. So I guess right click. Hmm. I probably would set this as default because I would definitely use this as a default to teleport to Zora. Oh, that's awesome, man. Damn, my bank's looking nicer than ever before. Oh my god, that looks so nice. Alright, almost forgot the dick side teleport as well. Damn, dude, I'd save myself 12. Oh, accidentally teleported with it though. Yo, that's cool though. Yo, the dark bolts are just raiding in. Beautiful though. Always nice to see. Oh, damn, dude. This is the pinnacle of RNG. A curve bone. It's been actually quite a while. I think my last curve bone was from shamans from raids. So yeah, I think that was a few months back. Wow. All right, this is raid number six ninety nine. Here we go. And nothing. But yeah, next raid is the big seven hundred, dude. Crazy. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of points. Good luck. Nope, nothing. 700th. Well, just hit my 700 wraith. It would have been 700 earlier, but I got freaking 6 hour log on the 700th. So this is the official now, though. Not bad, dude. Crazy, huh? 300 go for 4 digits, dude. Crazy. Range. Alright, good luck. 1 in like 7. Oh my god. <laughs> Nice, that's a good split. Occasionally delves into main shits. <gasps> oh my god, dude, I saw that. Wow. Holy shit. I saw the twisted. But it's obviously not the bow, but damn, dude, I've never seen the buckle on this account. But unfortunately, the one time I do see it, it's not in my name. Ah, uh, well. You know, what can you do, man? What can you do? Are, are we getting that desperate marketing team? Oh, nice. I got an elite clue scroll. Hmm. 
That's good. I guess we got a master coup coming up. Yo, this own fight is ridiculously fast. Oh my god, that literally took only 10 minutes. Usually it's like 12, 13 minutes, but I don't know, somehow this one happens to be in 10 minutes. Crazy. So I found two things I'm probably going to be using a lot with the new Master Scroll book that I got. Uh, besides doing clue scrolls and, I don't know, everyday traveling. I'm going to be mainly using it for Zora because I have my teleport books there. And also, I'm going to be using this a lot for my farm run. So I can teleport to Monsley Harmless. And yeah, I'll take me to the Monk. And then I can use this 7th patch that you can unlock when you complete the Elite Mauritania Diary. So... That's very nice. Alright, second raid with the boys. Good luck. Oh my god. Are you serious? Twisted Buckler. I see two in one in two days, and unfortunately, it does not go to me. Wow, that is a little sad there. Damn, dude. To see a unique item twice, but not get it. Well, uh, we, we got more race to do. Got more race to do. Okay, maybe we can see it back-to-back. -back. How the fuck does that happen? Wow, dude. Oh, he already has one of these. And I already have one of I have three, actually. But hey, that's good money. You know, get a nice, decent split on my main. But that's crazy, dude. Back-to-back. -back. Look at it. Look at how glitched it is. <laughs> Yo, I just saw him walk into the obstacle. And now he's just stuck. Yo. Oh, that is so weird. This guy literally just glitched through that obstacle. That's insane. I've decided it's finally time to go ahead and make a lot of rune darts once again. So right now I'm just wrapping up turning all my rune ore into bars. So I have with me after saving up for quite a bit. Uh, let's see, 888 rune bars. So that's about 9,000 rune darts. So I remember the first time I undertook this massive like uh, rune darts grind was actually I don't even know it was a while ago but yeah I had 25,000 and <laughs> I only have 3,600 rune darts left holy fuck so I've used over 20,000 rune darts in the span of I, I think two months wow crazy huh but I'll get 9,000 back and yeah we'll just go back to doing some mining and and get the rest to upkeep the rune dart cost as much as I can anyways but if, you know, it doesn't work out and I use them all up and I don't have any uh, supplies, I have basically like 50,000 plus rune adamant darts I could use, I guess. So when I got 89 smithing, I actually unlocked the ability to uh, complete all the uh, Varak diaries all the way up to elite by uh, smithing a rune dart. There might have been a rune crafting level, but I'm pretty sure I have met the rune crafting level as well a while ago. So I might as well just get that one out of the way as well. Another diary will be done soon. Alright, just finished up with the rune darts. And I'm gonna put them all into the blowpipe. But yeah, 11k should last me another solid month plus. Should be good. Freaking superior number 3 this task. Come on, baby. Damn it, man. But I did finish my key though. Now the rest of this race is gonna be very nice points. You serious? Vanguard only gives 2k points. Wow. One of the hardest bosses to solo at rates. You only get 2k points. No wonder people skip the fuck out of them all the time. Another massive point raid, but pretty slow raid though. Oh man, that wasn't even worth. Actually, no, it was worth points wise, but. So if you guys weren't aware, the cannon accuracy is based off your highest accuracy stats in your attack bonus. So in this case, it is my slash. So a lot of times when you're cannoning some things that have a pretty decent amount of defense, I would say like uh, specters, black demons, anything like that, really nice to actually uh, switch over something like a warrior ring because the cannon will definitely hit a bit more accurately. So uh, actually the tentacle, most people wouldn't really want to use it that often, even during Slayer because usually it's only one damage more than a regular whip. But look at the accuracy uh, difference though. The tentacle is 8 accuracy better. And uh, for me, who has so much whips that unfortunately even grinding a lot of raids, I can't use them all up, you know. This is perfect for when I want to uh, go ahead and cancel some tasks. Because that plus 8 accuracy 
from that tentacle over this whip and from the warrior ring really does make a huge difference with the cannon damage. I don't got an earth talisman, but it doesn't matter. I'll just use the rift. So I believe I just need an invent. Yep, because you only need 78 room crafting. I'm way past that, so that's nice. Alright, let's see what's left. There's not much, because I remember these elite diaries for a lot of them. They're so short. Alright, lumber yard, 120 planks with lunar and big summer pie. Super easy. Alright, baking this summer pie is a little bit more annoying than I thought because I need to get strawberries. So yeah, I just got some seeds from the master farmers. I'm planting them here because I know this patch is guaranteed uh, disease free. So I don't have to come back until it's fully grown and I know it's not going to you know, die on me. So, so this is my first time ever using any of uh, those farming timers from the custom clients like Conduit, the one I have right now and... The OS buddy. A lot of people still asking me, you know, what client I use. So, Conduit, K O N D U I T. If you want to look that up, just Google it, you'll find it. But yeah, that's cool though. Let's me know when my elements, anything really in my patches are done. So, that's really nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to do it here, right? There we go. Nice. All the tasks completed in Varrock. Oh uh, yes, 120 battle staffs a day, and uh, I believe when I smelt bars up to rune the normal way traditionally, I have an extra chance to get an extra bar out of my ores, so that's cool. But I'm probably never gonna use that because blast burn is just so much more, you know, faster. But this also counts as a prospector body as well. I guess I could be wearing that instead of the body. I have one, two, three, four, five uh, diaries done. That's elite. Maybe I'll be able to finish all the rest later when I like eventually get these stats up over time. So a lot of you guys might not realize this, but doing race grind for like twisted bows and uh, hunting for this in Beheart takes a hell load of time. And the only reason I'm able to do something like this right now is because it's summertime, so I don't have to worry about you know school and stuff for the most part, and that means I can invest even more hours. That's the only way I can really kind of keep up making videos at this point is because it's summer and I have that extra time to you know put into playing this game now summer isn't forever and that sucks because yeah I have to go back to school in about a month but yes I still have a month left to try and get this twisted bow and maybe you know the other remaining uh, raids items and also to try and get this in Buhard so hopefully I can get those items before the deadline that would be amazing but yeah I will see you guys soon with another video in probably a few days if you want to stay up to date if you haven't already feel free to subscribe to the channel and you'll know exactly when the next video will be released but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later